Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is Friday again. We're still in the cannon season. And today, if y'all seen my Foreman Market road trip video, I bought some blackberries, y'all. So guess what I'm gonna make? I'm gonna make some blackberry jelly. But instead of putting water, I'm gonna use grape juice as a liquid. I never made uh, blueberry jelly. Did I say blackberry jelly? I'm gonna use black uh, blackberry. I'm using grape juice, y'all. Let me get it right. I'm gonna use grape juice to make blueberry jelly instead of making water. Y'all know I'm not really adamant about adding water to anything. I like to add flavors to my products. So yeah, I'm gonna add uh, grape juice instead of water, and we're gonna make some berry jelly, not berry jam. Not blueberry jam, not but blueberry jelly. So anyway, y'all, let's get started. I washed the blueberry. Y'all saw these the one I bought in the fruit and vegetable market the other day. On my road trip, my blueberries in here. Now, all I'm do, y'all, I'm gonna cook these down. And of course, we're gonna strain them. And I got my got a little thing in there. You know, you can't get all of them off of there. But anyway, I'm gonna strain this anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to pour my grape juice in here. Like I say, y'all, I don't like to add uh, water to stuff. I like to add, you know, I'm going to add a little water. Wash this jug out. Mama will kill me. I didn't uh, rinse this whole jug out here. Okay, just to fill this up. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to uh, let this come to a boil until this blueberry is cooked down. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna strain the juice out, and then we're gonna add the sugar to the juice. This is gonna be easy. This is easy. This is like making grape jelly, y'all, or anything like that. Very simple, very easy. Just like I made the, I guess the plum jelly a little bit more. This is like plum jelly too, same thing. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, I had a little change in plans. Got on the phone with the queen. Of preserving and I talked to my mom I say well we didn't grow up on jam we grew up on jelly and I'm thinking here okay I got plum jelly peach jelly I'm gonna make this weekend I got a uh, blackberry jelly I gotta make grape jelly so I'm thinking why not just make some blueberry jam and she kind of talked me way to do it but what I'm gonna do I gotta add a lot of sugar but she says she, we did this before as a kid, but we don't remember. But she did say it takes a lot of sugar in this stuff. So I didn't even measure that, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to taste it right now. I know it takes three or four cups for this. So we're going to taste this. Of course, jam and jelly is very sweet. Okay, let me taste this here. You need a little bit more sugar. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook this down a little. And this is gonna be simple, y'all. All I gotta do is add the sugar gel, and then that's it. Thicken it up, put it in the jars. And as it cooks down, of course, the I'm gonna kind of mash it up a little too, the berries, the blueberries. But y'all, this is gonna be amazing. This is the first for me, and I love jam. But I just didn't grow up on it. I'm not a big fan of it. If I have to have a, have a choice between jam and jelly, of course, I'm going to uh, make jelly every time. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, let me just put the pectin in here, y'all. And like I say, I mashed a few up against here, but I'm thinking I want some body to this stuff, y'all. I don't. I want the blueberries to kind of a lot of them to hold their shape. So let's get the pectin in here. Like I told y'all, all pectin and all things done is not created equal. So I'm going to add this as I know it's going to be thickening up. I got one. Sometimes it takes three or four. I know it's going to take more than one. More than three, probably two. I know it's going to be more than two. And that's one there. And I'm using uh, 
I got some pectin here I need to use up, and then I'm gonna use my shear gel. See this one here? This one I'm using. So it don't matter which one you use, y'all. Just make sure it's not the one that say for a cool. You put in the refrigerator, not cook. I made that mistake before, y'all. And some fruit has natural pectin in it already, but you won't take as much pectin. Okay. Definitely know this is definitely gonna need more. Definitely gonna need more. And you don't get the full effect of the pectin until it come up to a boil. It's kinda like cornstarch, y'all. I'm gonna put another one in here. Like my mom said, you can never put too much sugar gel. But you sure can put less. You sure can put not enough. And then you gotta go back. I've done it. You have to go back, take everything out of the jaws, put it back on the stove, and add more pectin. I've had to do that, y'all. Alrighty. Get that in there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try to bring this to a boil. Get off of that. Get off of that. I get the full effect of this stuff. Get the pectin all, all mixed in there good. It's going to be nice. Like I say, y'all never made blueberry jam before, blueberry jelly, but this is going to be good on some biscuits later on in about a month. Y'all know I like to let my jellies and jam set up about a month. I'm looking at this, filling this, y'all. I'm filling. I'm definitely gonna need more. I can just tell by the fill of it. I'm gonna need one more of these. In the summertime, I usually buy 20 boxes of this stuff in the summertime, y'all. Because I know I do a lot of canning. And I still gotta do peach preserves. I still gotta do peach jelly. I got to do a uh, grape and blackberry before the summer's over. So, like I said, I got three or four more videos to come, y'all. And it'll be all gone by next summer. As y'all know, I give it all away. I keep a few jars and I give the rest away. The family, friends, a lot of my meet and greets. I have some festive ones here in Katy, my meet and greet events. I definitely give a lot of jams and jellies away there, too. Can good. People that missed out last year, my meet and greet here in Katy, they really missed out on a treat. I had a lot of giveaways. Okay. Oh yeah, looking good, y'all. Looking good. Look at that. So what is? I gotta let this come up to a complete ball, y'all. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how I know it's ready. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back again. Look at this, y'all. Beautiful blackberry. I keep saying blackberry. Beautiful blueberry jam. Or jelly, too. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's so exciting, y'all. That's why I tell <laughs> a lot of my friends, I tell people, I say I got to be the most boring man to ladies in the world. Because this is very exciting for me, sitting here making something. Of course, making jellies, anything I can is exciting, but especially when I'm making something new I never made before, and I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 is going to come out amazing. That excites me. And I tell people, <laughs> women probably say, that man is so boring, he need to get a life. <laughs> but that's me, y'all. I love cooking. I love cooking. I love people. I love the outside, and most of all, I love worshiping God. But anyway, let me show y'all here how I know it's ready. Okay. See this on the spoon here? See that drip? I can tell you it's ready anyway, but I do it my second. See how they don't even barely, look, it's barely dripping off that. Run your finger through that. Look at that. I know this going to set up. So I got one more foolproof way. Give me one second. take a saucer put it in the freezer and I put some on here like this on this cold saucer run around there run around let me 
see if it's gonna set up. See how it's setting up like that? Wow, look at that, y'all. I like how the blueberry just set on there like that. It's gonna be like a combination blueberry jelly. See how it sets up, see that? You know it's gonna be ready. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, y'all. I'll be right back. Let me set this on the counter and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Y'all know the process here. All I'm gonna do now, try to mix this together the best I can, y'all. With this, I'm gonna try to mix the berries in there the best I can. The blueberries. I know they're gonna kind of come to the top, but it is what it is. I can't wait to get these away. I need some guinea pigs out there, y'all, for this. And all I'm gonna do, y'all, like I say, I'm gonna just kind of fill the jaws up here. I definitely know how many I'm gonna. I don't know how many I'm gonna get in these jaws. I got a dozen jaws out there. But I got, I think, 14 jaws here. If I need more, I definitely have more jaws. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off, get these filled up. We'll come back, put the lid on it, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, how that look? And make sure you wipe the lids off your jaw, y'all. Before you put your lids on here, make sure you wipe the rim. I wipe the rim off the off the around the jar. Make sure that everything's sanitized. Move this over a little. And this is what you got. Like I say, y'all, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to eat these, y'all. <coughs> But I gotta wait a whole month. I like to let my jellies and jams and all that stuff sit up. At least a month, y'all. <coughs> getting choked on some bacon here, y'all. Choked on some bacon. Okay, hold on just a second. Couple more leads here. And that's it. Now, what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna put the rings on here. Let me show y'all a couple. Just like this. And I'll come back later here once I get them all on. And I'll make sure they're super tight. First, I just get them on there because these jaws are hot and I can't pick them up. I'll show you a couple of these. And that'll be pretty much, that'll be it. So I'll step off here, y'all. I'm going to get all the lids on here. <clears throat> I'll come back here and I'm going to show you the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Now, now I'm going to move them over here to the, to my water bag. Like I say, here in Texas, I do buy 15 to 20 minutes. Go to your website, Canon Water, Canon Thing. It's a website, y'all. I don't know the exact website. And it'll tell you on your area where you are, y'all, how long you should submerge these in the water in your area. Because every altitude is different, y'all. So let me show you what I do here. And yeah, I completely submerge mine, y'all, completely. Some people say, oh, you should submerge. I completely submerge, and I completely seal these jaws. It's not going to leak if you got the jaws in there, right? It's not going to leak or nothing like that. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get them all done off here. I have to get them all uh, 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 20 minutes, like I say. I'll, I'll have them submerge in the water and kind of seal them 20 minutes, and then I'll come back. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this one, y'all. This, like I said, this uh, this fall, y'all will see all these jellies and jams I'm doing. But if y'all just to reiterate, the last three Fridays I did Chow Chow. Last week I did plum jelly. This week the blueberry jam jelly. Next week I'm doing peach because peaches. My peaches is coming this weekend. Matter of fact, when you see the video, it'll be on a Friday. So tomorrow, which is gonna be a Saturday for y'all, for me. I pick up my peaches. I'm gonna do peach preserves and peach jelly, all in the one 
all in the same batch. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. And then I gotta do blackberries in season. I gotta do blackberry jelly, and I might do grape jelly. I'm not for sure, but I got them going, and I also got green beans coming with new potatoes. I'm gonna try to can some of those too. So anyway, y'all, a lot of canning. Canning room gonna be full for a few months till I give it all away, and then we'll go from there. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're back here. Everything's finished. I'm gonna use a towel when I pick this up. Look at these, y'all. Maybe I can pick it up without the towel because you could hear the pinion already. Look at that pretty that is. And the blueberries, once they was boiling, a lot of blueberries started sinking, so they're gonna be all the way through that. So I cannot wait for the next month, y'all, and have me some blueberry jam, jelly, however you wanna call it, on some nice hot biscuit. I know these are gonna be absolutely, hear that ping? <laughs> yep, that's the sign of success, y'all. When you hear that little ping going on, hmm. Wow, that's amazing. So, like I told y'all, speaking of ping, when you hear that ping, that means it's really sealing itself, and you got a good seal on them when you hear that. So, anyway, y'all, like I say, I'm the kind of goofy, geeky man here on YouTube that loves canning and get a big kick out of it and exciting for canning. Uh, Boy, as it may be, this is how I grew up. My mom used to do this all summer. We can everything. So in the winter, fall, the winter time, we didn't have to go to the store for nothing. All the thing we went to the store for was flour and milk. That's it. And early in the early days, we had a milk cow. We didn't have to go to the store for that. We had eggs. We had vegetables. We had all the meat because, you know, we killed our cows and hogs and chickens. So I just grew up like this. Like I tell people, and I tell my family and brothers, if we ever have to go back to hard time when stuff get rough, I can survive for a long, long time. I know how to survive. A lot of people don't. They used to go into the grocery store and get everything they need. They don't have to be self-efficient. And that's why I try to teach people, be prepared for the worst. So we're going through some tough times for the next year and a half, y'all. Food prices are going to continuously rise. They're not going to peak until next fall. So get, get ready for that. I'm just telling y'all, start learning how to can and put things away. Use your, buy stuff in bulk, put it, use your food savers and all that. It's very important because like I say, if food is all people are already struggling to eat, sometimes it's a little thing you can do to kind of uh, satisfy your family and save a lot of money. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Friday. I love y'all. Bye.